think you should just go away. Can we get rid of you? Can you go fall down? Uh -huh. Yes, you can. That sounds good to me. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. And we got some leads out of that. That was awesome. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77, and today we're starting a new mod pack series. Yes, we're starting Sky Factory 1. But this is not the first version of Sky Factory. This is a remake of it. This was done in 1.16.5 of Java, and it also has a lot of the updated uh, mods and things like that in this, so this should be a lot of fun to do. Now, when I first got into Minecraft and I played my first mod pack, it was Sky Factory 3. That was also my first Skyblock. So going back to Sky Factory 1 it, uh, should be a lot of fun, a lot of nostalgia for me, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, do this okay. So I'm going to go in right now, and I want to do a couple things right away. First of all, on the right side of the screen there, you can see we've got a massive map, and I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to press the M key. I'm going to go down to the bottom. There's a bottom like taskbar or toolbar. I'm going to go to the second button, which is options. I'm going to go up to minimap, preset 1, expand that out. And there is this enable minimap. Now, funny thing is, you cannot click on the actual check mark or the checkbox, which seems kind of wrong. You just have to click on the actual text. So I'm going to click that, which should turn that off. And I'm going to hit close and then close down the map. And there you can see the map is gone. That's the first thing I want to do. The second thing is, when you look at anything like here, you can see up in the top center, it gives you some uh, information on what you're looking at. And you can change that. And I like to change that a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. And I also am going to go with some transparency on it. So what you do is you type in the one probe config and it brings this up and you can see what you can do here is you can change the movement. You can just go, you know, put it places if you want. Center is fine. I'm used to that, but there's different styles you can do. You can do the Wayla style, which is like dark and backgrounds, fully transparent, black and white for high contrast. If you need to have that, I still like uh, the, I like the transparent, I think. And then you can change scale. You can make it bigger if you need to see some, some more of it. Or you can go normal or you can go down to small. So I like the small so I don't need to see all of that information. And so there we go. And now that is configured the way I would like to have it. Okay, so we're on top of a tree. Yep, we're on top of this tree. I'm going to get this first piece of wood here. I'm going to make a crafting table really quick with that. Okay, so before we uh, <laughs> drop down. Okay, so I have that ready to go. Now we are going to... Get the, red of the rest, get the rest of the logs here. So I'm going to press the tilde key, which is the button that's right to the next of the number one key on your keyboard. I'm going to hold that down. And while holding that down and holding an item in my hand, I'm going to get the rest of the wood. And we're going to fall down onto some dirt. And there we go. Now I want to catch this stuff as soon as I can. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the crafting table. I'm going to use the crafting table and I'm going to make a bunch of planks. And we're going to get as much as we can uh, ringed around this uh, dirt block, and hopefully we'll catch a sapling. And there is a sapling. We have that. That's good. That means we uh, can make another tree here. So we're going to do that in just a second. But I want to do a couple things before we really get into that. So let's get some more of the slabs here. Now, I would like this to be a little bigger than 5x5, five five, so I'm going to expand this out a little bit. And this is 5x5. Five five. So if we do on each side 6, 7, and this will be eight, nine. So really, that's the kind of size. Oh, got another sapling. That's good. So we're going. I'm just kind of like like gritting it out so I can see what I need to fill in. Okay. So we go that way, and we basically need to go to this way and to the other way, and I need to fill this out with some planks. Awesome. Let's grab this here. I don't have any tools, so that, that's all we have at the moment. And so uh, we can plant another tree. Okay. Let's do that right now. And while that's growing, uh, we can talk for a little bit. So in this pack, there is this uh, task book. And just like the old uh, Sky Factory 1, uh, it doesn't use the questing system like you normally use in a lot of mod packs under Modern. But it has this idea of checkboxes. You can go in here like creating something, craft a sieve and an insert a mesh. And you can check that yourself. It's not like an auto checker. It doesn't do that automatically for you. So that's in here. Also in this book, it talks about the fact that uh, you can do some certain things to how to get started if you really are stuck. Um, things about uh, making crooks, making barrels, getting stones to make cobblestone and hammers and dust blocks and clay. And the idea is to get to a cobblestone generator, which this says create cobblestone with lava and water and automate your cobblestone generator. So a lot of these first things we're going to be doing um, right away today. Okay, so the, we're waiting on this tree here to grow. What you can do in Sky Factory and Skyblock is you can do twerking. 
So you can just do this. If you watch, you'll see that there will be some sparkle effects on the tree, on the sapling, I mean. And what happens is it makes it grow faster. And there it is. Okay, so that's fantastic. Now I'm going to get rid of the wood again or pick that up. Again, have something in your hand and hold the tilde key, which is the number one to the or left of the number one key on your keyboard. Okay, now we're going to get a lot of wood here. And what I'm going to do is I think I want to get some sticks first because we're going to make a crook. And this is a crook. It takes four sticks. And what this does allows us to get a lot of the resources from this tree. Just like that. And you can see a lot of things drop down. Of those, you can see we get a little bit more of the oak saplings, which is nice. But we also get some silkworms. And we're going to use that in just a second as well. Let me plant that tree. Let's get some more slabs. There we go. And I'm going to start to fill this out while we wait for the tree to grow. Looks like we don't have enough slabs to uh, finish out the platform and make it 9 by 9 But that's okay. We're going to grow this tree real quick. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. As soon as this grows here, we've got a nice tree. It shrunk us down. And what we want to do is want to take these silkworms and we want to put them into the tree. This will give us a uh, string later on, but we have to like wait for this to, oh, we got a little bit of lag. Okay, have to wait for this to get all done as far as infesting. And the more we put in here is great. I'm gonna put all of them because we will get more of these worms here in just a little bit. Uh, there's a block there, there we go. Let me wait for this to uh, get uh, infested. Okay, the tree is fully infested and that's fantastic. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the crook again. And you can see we got a lot more stuff here, but we got a lot of string. And that's one of the things that we are really interested in. And now I'm going to get the rest of this tree. Get all the wood. And there it is. And we're going to re replant, of course. And uh, I think with this, we can make um, a bed. We All we have to do is make some wool. I think it's just like this. There it is. One, two, and three. And so that should make... I just did all that by not stacking it. That's funny. And we have a bed, which means we should be able to sleep through the night. That is excellent. Okay. Now, um, I need to get a couple more sets of slabs here. Let's finish out my platform so that we can catch anything that drops from that tree. Okay, that's good. And I think I'm going to make a chest right now because we really need to have a place to start storing stuff. I'm going to put the, a chest right here, and that's where we're going to start out with. So, uh, what can we do right now? Well, we need to get more wood, I think. So let me uh, grind out a couple more trees here, and then we will continue on. This crook is about to die here, and you can see it did die. We didn't get everything out of it, but all you need to do is you can just go into a crafting table and put some wood planks, and you can see that it will uh, kind of repair it a little bit, so you don't have to, like, dispose of this stuff, which I think I did in the first version of Sky Factory that I played, Sky Factory 3. Now I can get up that too. There we go. We have all of those pieces and we'll get this tree. Now, I have noticed already that getting uh, these trees is a pain especially since there's only one tree. So we need to uh, get some dirt, okay? So to get dirt, if we look here, dirt, there's different ways to do it. But the biggest and easiest way is to compost. And you can compost basically various plant materials of which we can use silkworms. We can also use saplings and... Uh, leaves okay so what we can do here is to make that barrel so let's see if we can do that let me go back out here and it's an oak barrel here and I need more planks okay that's easy to do and then we'll just take an oak barrel and there we go I'm gonna put that one over I think over here someplace um, right about there and it's getting dark so I'll sleep in just a second But the nice thing is if you can see I have the oak saplings All I have to do is put some of this oak sapling into here and we will get some dirt in just a second And then we can use that dirt plant that uh, down on our platform plant it I guess you plant it. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get this piece of dirt here There it is and I can put it down here and we can add to our growing area which will be nice for uh, getting more trees. So there we go. And now I can do this right there, get another tree, and we'll get some more of this dirt. Now it would be nice to have a couple more barrels. So let's do that. We'll get like maybe at least two. That way we can get a little bit more dirt faster. Now we are running low on saplings, so I don't want to do any more. I don't want to lose all of our saplings. You know, that'd be a pain. But uh, I can put another one right here. Piece of dirt. Grow another sapling. 
Oh, look, we got another piece of dirt. I'll put it on this side. And I'll probably move the crafting table in just a little bit. Working with these is kind of tedious. I'd rather automate it if I can. So we are going to... Oh, I just got rid of my crafting table. We're, go we're going to uh, basically make a system using hoppers to do this. Similar to like the super smelters that I do in vanilla. So I'm going to put this crafting table over here. And let's get some more wood really quick. And what I want to do is I want to make some chests here. I think I need... I don't know. Let's make eight. There we go. Now, to make hoppers, the wooden hoppers, all you need is you need five slabs, and you can see we made that. I think I need a little bit more of that, though. I think I need, what, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just make the things. I need to need four of these total. There we go. Okay, so we don't need this right here, so let's grab this up. Hopefully it doesn't don't lose it. Okay, that's excellent. I'm going to put a, a chest right here, double chest. That'll be the output for this, and then I'm going to take in two of the uh, these hoppers and go into there and that's fine and then we're going to take the uh, oak barrels that we made and put them on top of oh not that wrong thing I just misclicked the oak barrels there we go and you can just uh, put this stuff in here you can see it does not block me from getting into that and then we can put a double chest on top okay so now what I can do is uh, if I have I got some saplings here I should get some more but what I can do is I just put this into here, and it should start to grow uh, the, uh, sorry, make dirt in that, and uh, get some dirt here. So let's just see if we can get some more trees there. Wow, that was quick. And we're going to uh, do that first. We should get a lot of saplings, and that's awesome. Now, again, this thing is broken. I'm just going to repair it. It's pretty easy to do, and that way you can reuse as much as you can. Wow, it's a big tree. I'm not going to get up there. Uh, let's just knock this thing down. Wow, that's big. I hope it gets all the wood. There we go. And I can do that. Obviously, I've replanted. And then I just stick this up in here. And it automatically fills in. And you can see they're making the dirt for me. That is excellent. And hopefully, this will come down here in a minute. Leaves are another way of filling in and getting the dirt. And we would get a lot more leaves with all these trees we're growing. Unfortunately, though, I can't make any of the shears that we would normally use to get leaves. But uh, looking in the pack, there is a thing called a comma. And this is made through the Tinker's Construct. So I think we're going to get into that right now. So we can just uh, start working on this. I believe I need to get some patterns, which is usually just sticks and and planks. There we go. Okay. So um, let's see. I usually try to make this into a crafting table first. Now this sometimes, sorry, not a crafting table, a crafting, uh, that's not a slab. I think, is it with the these? Yes, there it is, the crafting station. Had to remember how to do this. It's a little bit odd. I'm going to put that right there. And the neat thing about this is, is that when you go into it, it does reflect what's inside of the chest that I have there to the right, which is a string and some silkworms. Uh, we're also going to make, I believe there's a part builder and a tool station. So the part builder, we have that. And I think the other one is a tool station or tool... No, it's not. It, it is a... What is that thing called? Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting already. And I'm not seeing it on here at all. Oh, a tree just grew. Let's go at Tinkers, and then I can find it. It is a Tinker Station. That's what it is. I don't know why I was thinking tool. That tree is in my way. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to put that one down there, and we're going to put this here. Now I'm getting close to the edge here, but what we do with these tools is basically we make the parts we need for the particular tool we're going to make. Now, I'm going to try to make a comma here. If you look here, it says I need a small blade, a tool handle, and a tool binding. So I go over to here. I'll put in some patterns, and we got to figure out what we want here. I'm going to put in some planks just so we have some to make the stuff we need. We need a tool handle. There we go. It's nice and loud. A tool binding. There we go. And a blade, small blade. And there it is. We have the three pieces there that's made out of wood. It's not great, but it'll work for now. And then you go into here, you click on what you want. You can just shift click these things in, and then we have our wooden comma. Now this is the tool I will be using to get the leaves. Let me twerk some more here so that we can see, you can see a lot of those are done. And we we'll use this right here. I'm gonna use vein mine again. And it did break, but you can see we got a lot of leaves and we know that I'm not gonna be using the leaves very much. So I'm going to stick those right in here and make some more dirt. Fantastic. 
As you saw, the comma did break, but you can go over to the Tinker's Station and put it in here and then put a piece of wood, like wood in there, and it will repair that as well. Same thing you can do with the other tool, but you have to do it inside of the Tinker Station. So we've been making a lot of dirt and getting a lot of trees, and you can see I've got a lot of wood now, and uh, that's excellent. But what we need to do is we need to basically make uh, some sieves, okay? So if we go back out here, it's kind of nice that they're all up right here, as so you can see what you need kind of right away. We're going to make the oak sieves here, so this takes a bunch of sticks. I know it takes that. I know it takes some planks, which we have planks. And it takes some more slabs. So let's make up some slabs here. I don't know why I took that out. I gotta remember that I can do it the other way. We need some slabs. We know we'll make our base a little bigger. I'm gonna make nine of these, okay? So let's do that. And there we have nine of those. And we also need to make some uh, mesh here. We wanna make nine of the string meshes. And so I guess it doesn't do that way. Let's see, can I do this? Do these stack? They do stack, excellent. Okay, so we need one more for this system. There we go. Okay, so we have nine of those. Now I'm going to put these kind of like right beside here so that we have them. And there we go. Now, if you've seen this before, probably some other packs, what you can do is you can go ahead and put these meshes in. And then when you use whatever you're going to sieve through it, it'll do nine at a time instead of one. So let's go and grab, uh, let's not grab yet. Let's go put this stuff away. I like to get this stuff out of my inventory because this stuff uh, <laughs> takes up a lot of space. And we're going to take the dirt here, and we're going to sieve the dirt. Now, what we're trying to get here is dirt, uh, sorry, stone pebbles so that we can make cobblestone, okay? So we're going to just use that. You can see it goes through all of that at once. And look at all the stuff we got, including 28 stone pebbles. So I'm going to go through and work with all of this. Let's see what we get here really quick here. This is not that hard to do, especially when you have a lot of dirt. And I've grinded away for this dirt, so we deserve this. This is our, our reward here for doing this. Okay, almost done. And, wow, look at that. So we have, it looks like 264 of stone pebbles. Okay, so uh, that's awesome. Now, I'm going to make, just because I, I, I did it again. I got to remember not to do that. I'm going to put a couple of chests out here so that I can know what I get from uh, this resource over here. Let's put that over here. And these are like the stone pebbles and things. And you can see we got all of this, basically, from uh, sieving dirt. So let me, uh, let's put all that away. Just like this. Now I'm gonna sort this. I do that by pressing the middle mouse button. And you can see it grouped all the stone pebbles together. <laughs> I'm gonna grab those back out and I'm gonna resort. And what we wanna do here is I wanna make this into um, some other pieces here. I think I just drag it in here, right? Uh, and there's cobblestone, excellent. More cobble. Looks like we got all, a stack of cobble and just a little bit more. And that is excellent, okay. So we're on our way, now that we have cobble, that, and have a way to make cobble, that makes it a lot easier for some of the stuff we want to do. Um, last thing I wanna do here, uh, before I start to work with the cobble, I wanna go back to the task book. I wanna look here, cause see, we haven't done a cobblestone generator or automated. We did do the silkworms, and we did craft, craft a sieve and insert a mesh. We did not correct uh, rainwater at all, and to haven't built a house or a squid farm or a second layer or a slime farm. Looks like a lot of stuff we won't be able to do, but we could do a uh, rain water in a wooden barrel or create water using a wooden crucible. So we'll probably use the second way uh, in just a second. Right, let's make this wooden crucible. Let's go see how you do it. The wooden crucible is made out of oak and that, so let's put one of these down. Now, I'm not sure, does this work with um, just making like does it need like a source underneath it? And we got to put leaves in there probably, don't we? Um, yeah, let's go get some leaves. Okay, so we have some leaves here. I'm putting those in there right now. And you can see that it is making up some water. So we don't need to have a fire source underneath that. But that does get us through that particular uh, task here. So let's go check that. Basically, we've collected rainwater or create water in a wooden crucible. Okay, so that's part of the process of making a cobblestone uh, generator. We need to have cobblestone and then we got to automate it. Now, there are cobblestone generators in here. If you go to cobblestone, you can see we have generators here. There's a tier one, tier two on up. So tier one is basically, it looks like it's just a logs, uh, compressed, double compressed cobblestone, some glass, which we need to make it some sand, some iron and things. So it looks like we got to get buckets. And buckets take iron, right? So how do we get um, iron? Okay, so looking at iron here, and you would smith uh, smelt that down 
Uh, typically, you would use ore chunks or iron dust. And to get the chunks, we need to get, okay, this is, this is typical stuff, iron ore pieces. And you get that from gravel, sand, or dust. And I think in gravel is with a hammer and on cobblestone. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let me uh, get to that in just a second. Okay, I really want to expand this platform out so I can lay down the cobblestone and stuff. And so what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make, if it's in here, a wand. I'm hopefully, there is a wand. And there is a wand there. Just take some sticks and cobble. That's excellent. And so uh, if I can use this now, I should be able to make, yes. See, so instead of this, I can go faster from this direction. There we go. And this is easily making my platform for me. Making it bigger. That is excellent. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to take the cobblestone and we need to make a hammer, I think. I think that's the next thing we need to do. So we need to make a stone hammer, I believe. Right like this. It just takes two cobblestone and two sticks. We have that. And let's get the cobblestone kind of laid out here. Did I just, did I not uh, grab that? I didn't grab it. Okay, there we go. Um, and we're going to just go across here just like this. And let's do a couple of rows of that. And let's go up one set. And there. Okay, that's not bad. Now let's grab that by right-clicking. Or sorry, right-clicking. By uh, holding down the tilde key. That's next to the one button. And using the hammer. And you can see it made gravel. That is excellent. And then we can, in just a second, use that gravel over there. Okay, so let's do this again. Because we need as much as we can get of this stuff here. Why am I doing that? I got a wand. There we go. Tinker. Okay, that's all of our uh, cobble, and we make that into gravel, and there we go. Now, these trees are going to get in the way. Um, I am out of saplings, and that is a very dangerous thing to do, so make sure if you get low that you do use a crook instead of the comma because you will uh, run out of saplings, and then you're stuck. Okay, well, let's grab all this so we get it out of the way, and we should get a bunch more saplings. There we go. That's excellent, and let's get rid of these logs. Okay, and there we go. Now remember, this chest has all the stuff we got from dirt. I would like to make a couple more chests so that we can uh, get stuff that from the gravel. We put it in a different uh, place there. So let me do that really quick, and this will be like the the gravel drops, if you will. Okay, I'm gonna put everything again back in here except for uh, the gravel because we're gonna throw that into the sieves here and see what we get. Should get some resources. Hopefully, we get some iron. Okay, so we're getting lots of various things. I do see iron right in the middle there. Oh, and we got diamonds. Really? You get diamonds from gravel? That's excellent. Okay, so we did all of that. Let's put it all in here. We did get diamonds. Um, but we did get right here some iron ore pieces. And if you recall, we just take that and we go like this and we get some iron. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, I don't have a way to smelt that yet. <laughs> so we need to get some more cobblestone, right? So I have some dirt that I've been kind of working on. So as long as we get uh, eight pieces of cobble, we should be good. I shouldn't have done that. Um, we have 18 here, stone pebbles. That is uh, four. So, um, yeah, we need to uh, get some more stone pebbles, which means I'm going to do some more uh, tree growth and the commas and things like that so that I can get enough so I can do that. I'll do that real quick. Huh? Well... Look who it is. We have a visitor. What can we get for emeralds? Which we don't have. Ah. Wow. Statue of Undying and a black dye and some seeds and a globe. Huh. But uh, we don't have any of this stuff here. And this guy's going to probably push me off. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think you should just go away. Can we get rid of you? Can you go fall down? Uh -huh. Yes, you can. That sounds good to me. Bye-bye. Okay, there we go, and we got some leads out of that. That was awesome. See ya, buddy. Okay, we got a couple of leads. Put those away. Free leads. And these guys, I'm not sure. I don't have a tool yet to get rid of them. So, um, can we make, like, a, a, a sword and, and, and get rid of them? Probably. And I took those out again. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, uh, we don't need that for a sword. Let's do... Uh, that I could make a stone axe. And axes are a little bit better, right? I mean, we're getting cobble anyway. Just a cheapy stone axe. Okay. Um, I don't want you guys here, so bye bye. Okay, 
it's for my own safety. But I got some leather out of that. That was pretty useful. Okay, so we have one, we have one cobblestone. Um, so we're working on getting some dirt here. Okay, I got some dirt. Let's see if I can get some uh, stone pebbles now. This is uh, kind of uh, critical for us. We got 33. Hopefully we can get enough to get a, uh, a furnace going here. And it looks like we do we put all this away. We just got this through this particular resource. There we go. Okay, uh, furnace. Nice. Uh, I'm going to put the furnace, I think, over here on this side of my bed for now. Actually, no, I'm going to put it over here. And let's um, cook up some charcoal first. So now when we have this, we're going to basically get some iron ore out of this. Now, the thing is, though, is I was looking at the iron and what we want to get the iron uh, ingots here. We can do various things to get this. Um, I think iron dust is what we want to get, though. If we get iron dust, I think we can um, make iron as well. But I think we can get that from this. And I'm looking at iron dust. And there's a couple of different ways. There is the fluid sieving machine. There is a plain grinder. There is a centrifugal separator and a pulverizer. Now, we don't have these, but this I think I can do. And if you look here, it does say that you can get from an iron ore chunk, you can get two iron dust. So let's work on the plain grinder. So I'm going to go out here. I'm going to put a plain grinder. Now, I don't know what the recipe is uh, off the top of my head. It looks like it's just smooth stone and iron nugget. Okay, I'm going to press A on this, so it bookmarks that. And it uh, looks like we need to just get some uh, some smooth stone, right? So if I put uh, this in here and do that, I should be able to get that. Excellent. Okay, well, let's uh, sleep and get the parts that we need. So now I have the smooth stone. We need to get some iron here because to make the plain grinder here, you do need an iron nugget. You also need an iron nugget for the handle. So we need at least one piece of iron, which is what we're trying to get right now. And there that is. We have the iron nugget. We'll make that into, uh, sorry, iron ingot. We'll make it into iron nuggets. And uh, now we should be able to make uh, the plain grinder uh, right here. And there we go. And we should also be able to make the handle. And that is excellent. Now I'm going to put this right over here because I want to have it near where I'm using this stuff. But if you see here, I got this and the handle like that. There it is. Now if I put this in here and you right click on this and just hold you'll hear a sound when it does its work there we go and you can see i got two iron dust out of that from one so basically we're doing ore doubling so i'm going to get the other one here and then i'm going to make up the iron out of that so now we have six iron nuggets with that we can make a couple of buckets now we're going to use one for lava and one for water so i'm going to get the water out right now from here like that and can we use uh, saplings? Yes, we can to get some more water, and that's good. Okay, I'm going to put this away right here. So we have the water portion. Let's go back to see what the cobblestone generator needs here. The cobblestone generator needs water and lava, some redstone and wood and cobblestone. So wood and cobblestone we have. We have water. Uh, we have to get sand, and we have to get redstone and get lava. Redstone comes from if we sieve dust, we can get redstone. That's excellent. Okay, so let's look back here. Let's go look at the... Uh, generator again and to make uh, lava how are we going to get lava that's a lava bucket let's look at actual lava here i think we have to use a crucible yes we have to use a fired crucible and to you do that we need to get fire we need an unfired one and that is porcelain clay which is clay and uh, bone meal now to get clay we i think we can just use um use the oak uh crucible over here when it gets full i think um if i get another bucket i can make an infinite water source and that will make it a lot easier uh so that's not that hard so getting the bone meal is the next big trick and it looks like we can sieve dust again so we got to get a bunch of dust um so we get redstone and we get bone meal we only need seven of this so to get dust is sand hammered and sand hammered is from gravel and gravel is from cobblestone. So I'm going to grow some more uh, dirt, I guess, because I don't have any more pebbles here. Or, sorry, here. I think I have four stone pebbles. That's like one cobblestone. That's not going to be enough. So I'm going to go through a little bit more grind and get a bunch more of the stone pebbles. All right, we've got a bunch of sand here. I'm going to take this into dust by using this hammer. There we go. Now we have a bunch of that. Now I have an oak barrel here. I think I just put in this because it has water. And it makes clay. Excellent. So we need that. And that makes 
how do you make uh, the clay balls, right? Let's see if there's a way to do this. Um, I don't see it here. Let's go back out here. We need the clay balls like this, and it looks like you use the plain grinder, which will make four. So I just need two pieces here of that. So we're going to get another uh, piece of water, piece of water, the water source. I made this infinite water source here. We'll do that, and we put that there, and then we'll grind that up. Okay, so the rest of this stuff that we need is basically coming from dust in here to get redstone and bone meal. So we're just going to run this through, and hopefully we get enough of it. We'll see how this works. Hopefully we need seven pieces of bone meal, um, and we'll see here. Okay, so we have we did. We got seven pieces of bone meal. We got some redstone. We don't have enough redstone, I don't think, but we are getting closer so that we can make some lava. Okay, let me uh, grind this stuff down, get some clay, and start this process. Okay, we have the clay ball here. This is eight of these. We'll take this out. We do need to make the porcelain clay, so you do that. That's seven of those, and that is excellent. Now, we come over here, we make the unfired crucible, and we're going to stick that in here. I also made the glass ahead of time for the uh, cobblestone generator. So we do this right now. We're going to need a heat source, and for this, we're going to use a torch. Now, I'm not sure where I want to put this... Uh, I don't know. I'm running out of room for what I want to do. Let's just put it right here. Okay. And we should take the fired crucible and we'll put that on top of the torch. And then we can add cobblestone. Now, I did save some cobblestone out here. So we have eight cobblestone. So I should be able to go into here and there we go. I put some cobblestone in. And if you look at this right here, I can uh, I think I can shift on it. You can see it's slowly converting that into lava. So shortly we will have lava. Okay. So Back to the cobblestone generator. That's what we're trying to make now. And to make that, the first level here, we need to have wood and cobble, which we can get cobble pretty easily. It's going to take a, a lot of cobble for that. Compressed cobble. Doubly compressed. We have to make a um, lava bucket, which we will have because we're making lava now. Redstone, we need a total of 9, 10, 11 redstone. So we're going to have to get some more dust and more cobblestone. So we are uh, we're getting there. I have to just grind out some more cobblestone. Doing the whole dirt method. There are other ways to do this, but I, I like to go with that way. Um, it's just as easy for me. So uh, we'll be back in just a little bit when I have all of the cobble. A little bit of a progress update for you. I did grind out the 11 redstone dust that I need. So really the only thing left is cobblestone. And I've been working on that too. I've been getting a lot of leaves and putting them in here. And slowly getting dirt so that we can get the stone pebbles and make the cobblestone. Now I know there's probably another way to do that. Because once we have the lava here, which I think we do... Yes, we have at least a bucket's worth of lava. You could make a cobblestone generator if you had a pick and things like that. Um, there are different things. You could make uh, some really nice cobblestone generators, but I just don't want to build that. I just want to go right towards getting the cobblestone generator without making all the other stuff, okay? So I'm just going to keep on grinding. I've calculated out here that basically we need two of these cobblestone uh, compressed cobbles, which is 81 cobble. And if you double that because we need two of those, it's 192 cobblestone which means we need three total stacks of cobblestone to make this, okay? So uh, I'm going to just keep on grinding out all this stuff, getting more dirt and doing this. It shouldn't take too long, and I'm actually really close. So I derped in that last clip. I realized that, that it doesn't take that much. It takes only 81 because it's a doubly compressed cobblestone. So if I go in here and I take this, this should be a uh, it's seven of the cobblestone. Let's compress some more here. Eight, nine, there's our nine, and we compress it once more, and that makes a doubly compressed cobblestone. And that should be all we need for this process, I think. So I've got here a, a, a bucket of water. Let's go get a bucket of lava. It should be right here. Okay, and that's awesome. And I think we have everything we need with the redstone. There's the redstone. And we'll make that right there. And now we have a cobblestone generator. That is excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down someplace. Let's go put it. Uh, I don't want it to fall off. I'm going to put it out a ways from the, uh, the edge there. We've got that. Now I want to have something on top of that to uh, store the cobblestone that is picked up. And I'm going to make a uh, storage drawer for that. So basically, if I remember, it's a chest and like this it makes the big storage drawer, which will hold 32 stacks. That is excellent. If I put this on top here, you can see it's going up 16, and then it's going to get 18. So it's a little slow, um, but we can fix that here pretty quick. You see, we already have 20-some cobblestone, and that's excellent. 
Let's uh, first let's go over here to the task book, and you can see here it says create a cobblestone with lava and water. We technically didn't do that, but we kind of already have like a cobblestone generator. So I'm going to count that as done. And we have automated your cobblestone generator. Um, and by that, I mean it's already building. It's automatic. So I think that works, okay? Now let's look at these other cobblestone generators because we really want to build and get cobblestone faster. This one here, you can see it takes uh, just cobblestone and it takes triple compressed, which is 729 total cobblestone. And the same rest of the recipe. That's kind of cool. That's awesome. Now to make the iron one, this one takes quadruple compressed cobblestone. And, you know, we have iron here. That's not hard. All this is not hard to get. It's just the cobblestone. Gold, same way gold is hard. Just this, just this, this, how you're compressing cobblestone. And then, of course, diamond one, which will be the fastest cobblestone generator, will be this. So we have a, a way here. We could get all of the uh, cobblestone going up uh, quickly. We already have some diamonds. You can see we do have gold. We have iron. So we could get to iron probably pretty quick. Um, but for, I think for today, we have the cobblestone tier one. I'm going to try to make and finish this video out making the tier two, which is only 729 cobble. And you can see here, we already have 76. So give us a few minutes and we will have what we need. I have been working on taking the iron uh, chunks and making this up. So we have some iron here. I am going to next put in the sand, which will give us some more glass. And we need the glass for the next uh, cobblestone generator that we're going to make. I'm just waiting for this to finish here, and we'll start that up. Actually, I could use another piece of sand for what I have planned. Let's do two pieces of sand. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this will finish up. We have 24 iron ingots. That's excellent. And we're going to put this sand in here to uh, make some glass. So if you look at the cobblestone generator tier 2, which is where I wanted to go, we needed this, which is a, the cobble or compressed cobble, which is 729 cobblestone, okay? And, of course, all the other resources, which are easy to get. So we have 761, so I should be able just to empty this all out completely. And go over here and should be able to make like this. There we go. We got all of that. And if we do, I think that again, that's singly compressed. And that is doubly compressed, right? And we need to do some more. So let's see here. I wish I had a way to balance these out, these grids. You know what I mean? Uh, that'd be really nice, wouldn't it? You see that it made cobble or... Uh, what should I call it there? Um, pebbles. Okay, and there we go. We have nine compressed, uh, doubly compressed cobble. We'll take that together, and it gives us the one triple compressed cobble. And so if we have our buckets, we do. We'll get some lava. We will get some water. And go into here and get the redstone. We should have enough to make that next cobblestone generator. What are we missing? Sand, which I started this whole clip with. There we go. Second tier cobblestone generator, and I'm going to put that down right here. Notice it didn't consume the first one, so we have two going right now, and if this one's going at a rate, it's going at two at a time, whereas this one goes at four at a time. So we're getting a bunch of cobble now, and, and I have all that iron here. I'm thinking I might just go with the next tier of cobble, which is 6,561, because it doesn't take me but a few minutes to wait for this to produce. So the total between these two now, if it gets up to 6,561, I should be able to make the iron uh, cobblestone generator. Now, the one after that is massively higher than that. It's 59,000 cobblestone and take some gold. Now, I've been trying to get gold, and it's been kind of rare. I did get uh, four gold dust and some uh, gold ore pieces, and I can actually put this down right now. Um, but... I don't think I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop at iron. So we're gonna wait just a little bit longer. You're already up to 156. That's pretty good. So we just have to get what's the number again? We're looking for 6,561 cobblestone. So I've just encountered the next problem here. You can see it only goes up to 2,048. We need that to go higher for storage in that drawer. So we're going to work on making the storage upgrades. There's these various upgrades here. There's one here. This one takes obsidian. We don't have that, but the second one tier up is iron and we do have that so we need to get some templates here it's, again it's just a drawer and some sticks so let's do that right now we'll make a drawer first just like that as we've done that already and then we just need to make the sticks so let's do the upgrade pattern we should have sticks in there we do and let's make um a couple of these i've got the iron over here okay and is it just that again i don't remember I just saw it. I don't remember it. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? 
Okay, we got one of those. Let's make two of these, just like that. And now if we install this, like there, we have a capacity of, I think, about 8,000, and I'm gonna put one over here as well. And so we should be uh, closing in on that value that we need for the cobblestone generator, which was, again, it's been a few minutes. I need to get 6,500 or so, 6,600 cobblestone. All right, I think we've got enough here. I'm going to <laughs> take out as much as I can and start compressing this down. This is gonna take me a little bit here. You can see I've got my inventory just full of uh, cobblestone and it's gonna to continue to generate. And we'll just uh, go like that and grab it. Doesn't take too long here. So there we go. I don't want that, that's not good. <laughs> do some more here. This is kind of a, a pain, but it's what we gotta to do to get to the level that we need. Okay, there we go, got that one. There's four stacks there. Wow, we're getting a lot of stacks. Okay, keep on going, keep on trucking. This is, uh, well, it's a pain, I know. <laughs> there we go, grab that one. Here's another row, grab that. There's almost a row here. Grab that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're almost to the point we need, and we'll just grab stuff from over here. And then we should be able to get enough that we can start to compress this a little faster here. There's nine, and so if I put all of that into there, we get a doubly compressed, a whole bunch of those, and we need how much of these? We need a whole bunch more, right? We need two more of those, so let's do that. There we go. That's not gonna work. Let me grab some more uh, cobble here. We should have enough on us now to get through this if we just go through the right way. There we go. I uh, wish it had the balancing feature. Let me grab all this out. I'll try to do it a different way here, like that. There we go. Okay, we are trying to get to the point of having enough cobblestone here to get this thing done. And that's not gonna make anything else, so we have a bunch of this. Why is this all? This is compressed as well. Let's do that part. And that part, there we go. And that should be it, right? That's nine of those and we put those together and it makes one of the compressed cobblestone 4X. That's excellent. And now we should be able to make our new cobblestone generator. We're gonna go with iron. I've already made up the rest of the stuff and put it into the chest. So we should be able just to grab it and go. And there it is. And now put that in there and look, it's generating how fast it's generating cobblestone. I did put the upgrade in this as well, but this is gonna be a big uh, game changer for us for right now at this point of the game. All right, guys, well, that's about it for this episode. We've got a good start on Sky Factory 1. We have some cobblestone generators, as you can see, and that was where I wanted to get to today, but I did upgrade there at the end. Took a little bit of time, but we were able to get that going. So uh, we'll see what happens next time. It's gonna be a lot of fun working on this pack, okay? So if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and bye-bye.